Leaving Mother Lake, A Girlhood at the Edge of the World, is a memoir by Yang Ercha Namu that tells the story of her childhood and adolescence in the Masua community, a matriarchal society in the remote mountains of Yunnan province, China. Namu writes about her experiences growing up in a culture that values strong women, where marriage is not a requirement, and where traditional customs and beliefs are deeply ingrained in daily life. The narrative begins with Namu's birth and childhood in the village of Yongning, where her mother is a respected healer and her father is a Han Chinese trader. Namu describes her close relationship with her mother and the bond they share over their love of the lake, which is central to Masua life and culture. The lake is a symbol of the Masua people's connection to nature, and Nama uses vivid descriptions of its beauty to illustrate the importance of this connection to her people. As Nama grows older, she becomes increasingly aware of the challenges facing her community. She learns about the conflicts between traditional Masua customs and the Chinese government's policies, which aim to modernize and assimilate minority cultures. Namu is torn between her love for her community and her desire for education and independence, which she sees as a way to help her people. One of the most striking themes of the memoir is the importance of gender equality in Masua culture. Namu describes the Masua system of walking marriages, in which women have multiple partners throughout their lives, and men have no rights to the children born from these relationships. Women are the heads of households and have the final say in all decisions. Namu celebrates the strength and independence of the Masua women, but she also acknowledges the challenges they face in a patriarchal society that often dismisses their contributions. Namu's writing style is both poetic and honest. She uses vivid sensory details to paint a picture of her world, and her descriptions of the natural world are particularly stunning. At the same time, she does not shy away from difficult topics, such as poverty, illness, and violence, and she is candid about her own struggles with identity and belonging. Namu's voice is authentic and compelling, and her storytelling draws the reader into her world. Another significant theme in the memoir is the tension between tradition and modernity. Namu is torn between her love for her culture and her desire for education and freedom. She recognizes the need for her community to adapt to changing times, but she is also acutely aware of the loss that comes with change. Namu's journey to find a balance between tradition and modernity is a common struggle for many people from minority cultures, and her story is a powerful example of this struggle. Throughout the memoir, Namu uses her experiences to shed light on the complexity of cultural identity. As a Masua woman with a Han Chinese father, Namu is constantly navigating the boundaries of identity. She describes the challenges of feeling like an outsider in both cultures and the pressure to choose one identity over the other. Namu's journey to find a sense of belonging is a universal theme that will resonate with many readers. In conclusion, Leaving Mother Lake a Girlhood at the Edge of the World is a beautifully written memoir that explores themes of gender equality, cultural identity, and the tension between tradition and modernity. Namu's story is both unique and universal, and her honest and poetic writing style draws the reader into her world. The memoir is an important contribution to the literature of minority cultures and a powerful testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit.